World champion from 2009. Should have fought her better. Yo, bit of a shock that Yo couldn't um, see off Sol. Kirsten Teela, same thing. I'd have thought that Teela or um, Yo, the two Europeans, would have been um, enough because they've got so much um, exposure to high-level competition. Sato, the styles could have been more to um, Sol's liking. And then Roberge, well, I definitely thought that... Um, that was a revelation, that throw there, that, that she yeah. had that kind of technique. Ferquet's a very clever um, fighter. And uh, it'll be a surprise for me, to be honest, if so, can overcome Ferquet. Well, the North Koreans got that uh, golden London, right? They did at under 52 kilos and Kume. Oh, Missed. that was a good opportunity yeah, yeah. for Makikomi by Verkirk. Spun a little bit too much. He threw herself at that. And uh, there was no resistance at all from Sol. So Verkirk's body went spinning past her. Yeah, ripped her hand right off of Sleeves are tied up here. One of them's going to um, go for it. Both of them fancy themselves with um, Tsurikomi Goshi. They're saving it for a rainy day. Sol it is who picks up the passivity penalty. It's not the first that she's had today. And it won't... Um, concern her too much, not at this stage anyway. So Kirk dropping down and attempting a shoulder throw. Carla Grohl and Birgit Enter, Jules Franson, Annika Van Emden, they're the cheering crowd up on the uh, balcony for Ferkirk. So with a little bit more movement now. Looking to set things up to go left-sided. Throws the leg out on a couple of occasions. Steps off that Osoto Gary attempt from a now a Shimiwaza attempt. Not sh she slipped that anyway, so there's no chance now. I would not give Saul or Shimiwaza a chance there. That was uh, Ri Gwang, one of the um, North Korean coaching staff up in the stands there, screaming his um, support. He's a long way off. <laughs> I doubt very much whether um, Seoul can hear anything. She picks up uh, a second penalty, but that's not a surprise. We knew that they were going to be off the pace. We've been saying that for the whole week. Just, um, you know, it's the map rusty. If you're not on the map, the timing is a little bit off. You get the tempo wrong. There are certain aspects to the interpretation of the rules that you're not accustomed to. And she's just a little bit off the pace here and has picked up two penalties. A little over two minutes left to go. Stood up nice and strong yep. to Ferkirk's attack. That's what, one thing, she's got good posture. Can't afford to. Um, She's got to attack. Yeah, stay off for too much longer now. She must now be she into gets, it. Catch that third one with you know a minute and a half left. And oh, there's the arm. There's the effort, and it's over. She goes. Saul with that same arm effort. Wazari on the board now, and it's going to be all Saul from here on in. Going to see a different fight now that she's got this Wazari lead. Huge turn in there. Yeah. She really didn't, went for it didn't with, think with the she wrap had up. It for a second and then look the at the second, wrap up there. Yep, and then second effort drives it over. And Ferkirk had the um, presence of mind to turn off that as well. That's right. She knew she was going over, used the shoulders to turn to turn off. You could see when she was down on one shoulder, she was already turning off. Wazari now, minute twenty. 
And here's where um, Sol has got to be really clever. Ooh, she almost bit on that side there. If and Sol Clark, is going to do that was, that was a nice effort there by Pat, for Clark. Sorry, if Sol is going to do this, she can't commit the errors that the North Koreans have been committing um, in the last few days, which is to be un unaware of the clock. They've got to be savvy here with just over a minute left here. But for Clark, you know, she's just working at it. She has a look at the clock already. Yep. We're, I think when it gets to about 40 seconds, then you begin to feel that your money's safe on Seoul. Yep. She can be a bit more defensive. Just then. turned there, the body, yeah, um, in the mi in mid air. That was good, good heads up from Fuka, by Fuka. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, she was flat. They're closing that magic 40 seconds. There it is. There it is. For Clark, a nice attack there with Ashiwaza. And another almost attack. gets another one for Seoul. Right, because 20 seconds now, um, she can go without being called for passivity. She just put an attack in there. So that takes her pretty close. 14 seconds, she'll be away. She could burn one, and she wouldn't get penalized again. Let's see what this call is, though. Yeah, put them together. There's nothing going wrong here. Every second now, the World Championship gold medal gets further and further away from Verkirk. Really got to go for it now, Marhinda. I think her hands are tied up. She just cannot, you know. There's oh. the Sasa again. That was a good that effort. That was a really good effort. Another good one, but this is it now. It's four seconds to go. Sol Kyung is going to take it for North Korea. And we have a, well, this is not a first time winner. Was it first time world championship? No, right? I don't no? think so. I think they've been North Koreans who've won world championships before. For women? Oh, that's a nasty bruise that um, Fred Kirk has got on her eye. Here's David McFall. He's going to be looking up that information. Okay. See here if uh, North Korea has got a Judo World Championship. Can't seem to find much at Google, but. Uh, I'd be willing to wager that may be the first one. In any case, North Koreans are jubilant. You done that one? I looked it up. I can't see anything. Well, I'm sure Yoon Jin Boom is going to um, mail us quickly <laughs> and tell us that yes. piece of information. Yoon, bail me out. Help a brother out over here. Well, well, you know what? We saw tactical judo and then she started tossing. Yeah.